Are you looking at the storm? Yeah. And icing your foot? Or were you icing your wrist? My shins. I did my, my wrist because of my thumb, but um, yeah, I did my shins right now. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Looks like we missed the worst of the storm, you think? Yeah, no, we don't. We didn't get any of the red, so we're good. Huh. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm, where I can't remember to take a harvest basket to the garden to save my life. So it's raining, <laughs> you may notice. I actually just got back this morning from a trip I've been gone the last few days, I've been in California, uh, visiting my friend Leah. I flew through the night. I was really concerned that the hurricane coming up the coast of South Carolina was going to delay me getting home, but I was, I got home. Sorry guys, <laughs> came out from my cool house and it's warm and humid out here, so my screen keeps fogging up. Uh, so I did, I did make it home, obviously. I have a vlog that I shot at Leah's but I'm gonna flip them, you'll see it later, simply because I am getting inundated by precious messages from so many of you checking on us as uh, the hurricane made landfall through Florida and made its way up here. to South Carolina, I hadn't had much experience with hurricanes. Growing up in Arkansas, it's landlocked. It was eight hours to any beach there. Here, we're two hours from the coast. And since we've been here, I think there have been, I wanna say four different, either tropical storms or hurricanes that there was a, like a threat where it could affect us. Being two hours inland, we don't, have to worry about hurricanes as much as people who are obviously living like right on the coast but it can cause flooding and of course high winds uh, can be very damaging and then the danger of spin-off tornadoes happening so when there's a forecast of a storm like there was here this last couple of days a lot of times like the schools let out early so kids can get home and we essentially just kind of hunker down and stay home. We didn't even close up the high tunnel this time uh, because it wasn't supposed to be super serious. And as it, as it turned out, it kind of veered towards the east and ran up the coast. And so we've just got a steady rain all day and it's not even, I mean, our pond's overflowing, but I wouldn't say that we're even having any flooding. I wanted to go ahead and get a video up to say we're okay. Thank you so much for caring about us and for checking in on us. This wasn't this wasn't a big weather ordeal for us, so that's that's a nice relief. Uh, and we're definitely praying for the people who it was a big weather ordeal because anytime a storm veers in the opposite direction, uh, it may be a relief for some people, but it it can be a burden for others. I do think the worst of our of the rain is supposed to start like right now. Like it's. It's gotten quite a bit heavier even since I've been out here filming. Uh, Jackson went to the gym a little while ago and I was like, please come home straight after so that you are safe in, at the farm because I didn't want him out driving in a situation where he might end up like hydroplaning or something like that. And we're just hunkering down for the rest of tonight and maybe even in the morning. I'm out here grabbing some peppers because I wanted to start a fermentation. I'm just gonna ferment all of these jalapenos together. Oh, there's the wind. So with these jalapeno peppers, I've got Craig's Grandes, and some of them are red, just because they were left longer on the plant. So this is the same pepper in different stages of ripeness. And here I have the um, pumpkin spice Numex jalapeno, which when it's very ripe, it turns this lovely orangey yellow. And it still tastes like a jalapeno. It's not special flavor-wise. With a name like pumpkin spice, you kind of expect it to taste different, but it doesn't. It's just named after the color. 
Uh, however, I like to grow the different color jalapenos that I can process them with some red and green and have multicolored jars because I like colorful things. So there are a couple things I was thinking about. Oh, look at that little weird guy. Those are funny when they have like, little growths on them. Um, I was thinking about a couple things to talk about. One, I am so tired. Like, I am completely exhausted right now, but I don't want to go to sleep too early because I want to sleep through the night. I don't think I fully adjusted to California time, but we definitely had like multiple late nights of staying up talking and a three hour time difference is a pretty big adjustment. Um, so I'm gonna have to, to shift back, but I flew through the night. I did a red eye just because, you know, it's hard for mama to get away and I try to make the most of it. So I was like, well, I'll fly through the night and that way I can actually have the next day. Ask me how much I got done today. <laughs> it wasn't a lot at all. Um, I was a little bit, uh, I was definitely not in my best form. Several of these peppers have funny little growths. I wonder if that's because it's more recently developed so it's still got a little bit of hybridization to it. I don't know, maybe not. I imagine the seeds are stable. They don't sell it as a hybrid, so kind of funny. Man, I thought I had a lot of ripe peppers before. I am swimming in them now. They're everywhere. This is a Marconi and I'm about to snack on it. Look at the alpacas just standing out in the rain. Like they have cover they can get underneath. I really want some charred okra with dinner tonight. Maya's in there making burgers. But I don't know that I want to get soaking wet for it. That is a privilege problem, my friends. <laughs> I'm over here like, eh, is it worth it? I don't know. So I want to show you this pepper, but look at this. My asparagus weeds growing everywhere. Those are asparagus plants all in this yellow peppers business. So this is the lemon spice jalapeno pepper, which you can see it's a lot lighter. Not a massive difference, but a little bit. So I have like multiple of the lemon spice plants. You can tell when they're green, they're like a little bit of a lighter green, but most of these have not turned yet. So I'm gonna leave them. The other thing I was gonna talk about, which I'm so tired, I'm having a hard time like keeping my thoughts. I was gonna talk about project management. So today, not a high energy day at all. It's now like early evening, uh, but it hasn't been a high energy day and I don't want to go to bed too early. So I am going to do a little kitchen project, something that's not going to be super extensive, but I want to start these peppers fermenting to turn into hot sauce. So last year I did, I did this where I just cut the caps off of a lot of jalapenos and fermented them. Now I may do this one a little bit differently to preserve the colors because last time I cut the caps off and then I blended it into a sauce, which I could do that here. I think that this red, green, orange, yellow combination would end up making a pretty gnarly looking sauce. So I was thinking about potentially just running these through my food processor first before fermenting to chop them up in small bits where they're still separate colors rather than all blended together and then ferment that. Um, and then when I'm ready to be able to use that as a sauce, it'll just be like more, probably smaller bits and like pico de gallo, but not just a liquid sauce. I don't know. I may experiment with that, with the colorful ones, and I may just start a ferment fermentation with more that are just like green and red. I am also picking a bunch of these little bikini heel peppers which have the mildest bit of heat. It's, they're, they're not hot, but they have a really nice fruity taste. And I'm thinking that putting some of these in the sauce would add a really good dimension to it. Check this out. My Tabasco peppers are finally starting to grow. This plant was taking a little while. I didn't know it was gonna do anything. Some of these nautapenos have begun to turn red. And I think I'll grab some of these as well, just to kind of temper this sauce down. So it's not all hot peppers. That way we'll get more pepper flavor without necessarily adding more heat. Will sent me a picture this morning um, 
of course he's had the garden the last couple of days while I've been gone uh, on his own and he messaged me all the watermelons that he harvested this morning he said I went ahead and harvested these because I think they're gonna split with all the rain that's coming and it was like a whole pile of them where watermelons definitely back on the menu look at this pretty little collection don't you think that's lovely all right I'm back in the house Maya has got a lovely dinner almost done. Good looking burgers. The weight of my exhaustion is hitting me and I'm realizing... Oh, oh. Is there a kid button me? No. Oh, it was there. Um, the weight of my exhaustion is definitely hitting me and I am not going to be making pepper sauce tonight. I'm going to start this in the morning. It's a good tomorrow job. <laughs> There's just no way. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And again, thank you for checking out on us. Um, it's very precious to me how much you guys care about us. I'm bless you. Until next time.